Well, before returning to London to send the Marines into action, Defence Secretary Jeff Hoon had been visiting the South Atlantic, stopping off in the Falklands and near neighbours Chile and Argentina. Meeting service personnel and local councillors in the Falklands, he reaffirmed the UK's commitment to the defence of the islands, but sought to encourage further mutual cooperation with Argentina. The arrival of the Secretary of State came two years after his last visit to the Falklands. Eighteen hours after leaving RAF Bryce Norton, he was greeted by the Governor, Donald Lamont, and the Commander, British Forces Falkland Islands, Commodore Richard Ibbotson. With just 24 hours in which to cram in a very full programme, the question most of the islanders were asking was, why is he here at this particular time? The primary purpose is obviously to come uh, in the 20th anniversary year of the conflict. Uh, but that is not to say that because there are British forces here, and I've, uh, as Secretary of State, uh, over the past two and a half years, I've visited most places, certainly everywhere, where there are any substantial numbers of British forces, and I would expect to do that on a regular basis. Those forces on this occasion included personnel at Mount Kent, one of a number of remote radar sites in the islands. Twenty years down the line, and those here have less call to issue their early warnings of Argentine aircraft testing the Falklands 200-mile exclusion zone. That said, memories of the 1982 conflict remain strong and passionate among the local populace. The British government, therefore, has the difficult task of balancing local feelings with the need to move forward. 